So this is what I told you that we would be learning about today, reduction of order, where we'd introduce the problem, talk about the general approach, I would tell you not to use the formula a couple times, and then we'd go over a specific example, um, because the examples in the section do tend to run a little bit long. So um, we sort of got ourselves in the frame of mind to be thinking about building solutions based on how we learned solutions look for um, nth order differential equations in this section. And we said we'd look at the specific second order differential equation, y double prime plus p of x, y prime plus q of x times y equal to zero. And we know we need two solutions in order to find the general solution that's a um, linear combination of those things. So right here I outlined the approach and I'm gonna go ahead and talk through it um, one more time. But for these problems, we always are given y1 a solution. And we just say the y2 is some unknown u times y1. So our problem becomes to try and find u. And then we just plug into the ODE, which means taking um, like product rule derivatives, but we can always plug it into the ODE. And then the terms are actually going to cancel out using the um, original differential equation that y1 satisfies. And then that um, gives us a differential equation that we have to solve for u. And the way we do that is by taking w equal to u prime. So to find u, we turn it into a first order problem of finding w. And then after we do that, we sort of undo everything. And we find what u is, so we know what y2 is, so we know what our general solution is. That's how each problem in the section will work. So we looked at that generic problem, which was a lot of notation, but hopefully kind of showed how the um, entire problem always works. Most importantly, it's easiest to see the, uh, sorry, wrong place to circle, the way that the U term drops out in the general form because everything still looks like your differential equation. Um, and then after everything dropped out, we started our reduction of order part where we solved um, a differential equation for w. I did separation. Um, a linear equation would have been fine here. Um, and then there were some like algebra tricks, but we eventually ended up with what y2 should be. And I did this weird aside where I talked about how your constants can go away um, and then gave some warnings. I didn't skip a page, did I? No gave some warnings, most importantly, that you need to combine the constants so that you only have two at the end of your problem, uh, that you cannot move your y1 inside the integral. It doesn't work. And um, that we shouldn't use the formula for what y1 is. And then we did our specific example where we went through all the same steps. You can see the same place where I talked about how the product rule was working, and we canceled out that term attached to u, got us to um, solving our reduced equation, which was hopefully more concrete this time around. It was just a simple separable equation where we knew what w was pretty easily, and then we had to undo by integrating w to find u, then plugging in um, to find y2. And again, I did that thing where I held on to unnecessary constants, and then just remembered to reduce it all to having only two constants at the end. And then we just used methods from last class to show that this worked because um, sort of I told you that this method would work and there was no reason for you to believe that it actually would. So this was good practice of, of last section stuff, I guess. But again, in general, I don't actually want you to do this. Reduction of order will always work and you can just trust that it will. Um, I don't need you to verify it. So I wrote down these things right here that I thought were like the big takeaways. Um, we were solving, oh, I wrote equal to zero twice. We were solving the second order differential equation. And your approach is always going to be that you're given y1 and you plug in y2 equals u times y1. You have to use the product rule to do it. It creates a bunch of um, like algebra and calculus. But the things attached to u will always cancel out. So you always use reduction of order w equal to u prime to solve a simpler differential equation. The like biggest thing I would say in the section is to 
if you ever start to doubt yourself, just follow through the algebra or the calculus or the first order differential equation. Once you start to simplify things, these problems always get easier. Um, they can just look oh, a little bit intimidating to start. So your practice problem. Um, is going to be the following. Oh, I don't like that underline. We're trying to solve um, this differential equation. 0 equal to y double prime plus 2y prime plus y. You're going to be given that y1 equal to x e to the minus x is a solution. And so you're just going to start following our steps um, to try and find y2. So you're going to do y2 is u times x e to the minus x. You'll have some um, messy product rules to take, but you're going to just plug everything in and it'll become a lot simpler after that. So go ahead and work on that. Um, be ready to ask questions about this section in class and I will see you then.